rejoice and be glad. All that Isaiah prophesied would happen on the mountain in our passage today has happened in the person and work of Jesus Christ. The feast has been set and offered, and we continue to join in it at the communion table every time we gather, even as we look forward to the feast at the final heavenly banquet when Christ comes in final victory. Death has been swallowed up, the dividing curtain torn in two as sin was defeated, and life with God was made possible for all who would respond to God's grace in confession and repentance. God is even now wiping away every tear and making us holy as Christ is holy. Because we have faith that this is true, because we hope to see Christ in final victory, we can rejoice and be glad in the assurance of our salvation.